How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to the base. Yes, it is back on the channel. Now, we've done this last year, year before, year before that. We've done this nearly every single year, and you guys know how this works. We basically rank all the best strikers, the best midfielders. We're going to branch out this year, best promo cards. We're going to continue to do that. So, guys, I hope you do enjoy this series, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, what we do on this series is feature... Per episode, two strikers or two players within uh, the, the base of the title. We got the best strikers today, and I just want to do a footnote. No icons. We're not doing best icon strikers. Heroes, they are included, as you can see right there. We have Antonio Di Natale. He's going to be one of our featured players. Alongside the player of the month, Karim Benzema. Now, guys, if you do enjoy this, you know what to do. Uh, you bring that hype, you smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. As we do look through the player's stats, traits, and everything about the card, even work rates and stuff like that. And, um... Yeah, I do want to get you guys involved. Basically, in the comment section below, at the end of the video, not right now, and leave, you can leave a like right now, but uh, wait to drop the comments, and then I want to see your comments, your top 10 on FIFA 22 right now. Now, we might, um, of course, we will change um, stuff like the rankings and stuff like that. That'll happen all year round, but literally right now, as of October like the 20th or 21st, what's the date of the day? I think it's the 20th. But make sure you get your top 10s below. And uh, I love bringing you guys a series. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Lads, let's have a look at the two featured players for today. So here we go then, lads, in to the gameplay. Now, obviously, we start with the left-hand player, and that is going to be Antonio Di Natale. Then we move on to Kareem Benzema. Now, throughout this episode, episode one, we always explain how the series works, what we do, and stuff like that. So this one is called The Best Strikers. Exactly what it says on 10. This is literally uh, mine. I should have mine before I did. But anyways, it's my best strikers that I've used on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team till the day this video was released, you know what I'm saying? Even though last night we did get a Narky Williams, I'm not too sure he actually changes the list that you will see at the end of the video. But um, yeah, you can see all the stats from the games played I did with Di Natale. Played seven when I did use him. He scored nine and he got three assists. Now he's finishing stat because obviously finishing, it helps for strikers, you know what I'm saying? He's 92, that's the exact same as Karim Benzema, and uh, his overall shooting stat is 91. Now, I don't want this to kind of turn into a versus where I'm pitting like Di Natale against Benzema, you know what I'm saying, and making them clash. We're not doing that in this episode by featuring two players. I just want to showcase two strikers or two players per episode in each of the episodes. So, you see in the footage in the background, you're seeing what these strikers can actually do in game. This one is Di Natale, like I did say, as he volleys that one into the back of there. The keeper didn't even move, boys. And then we'll move on to carrying Benzema. Now, Today, like I did mention earlier on, no icons, no icons, because I think I can do a separate one for that myself, you know what I'm saying? Um, icon strikers, you've got R9, you've got Kroos, you've got anyone that kind of fits that category. Also, it's position based as well. So if you guys think, Young Min Son, brilliant striker, he's better than this guy, this guy, and this guy, we're doing all positions. So center forward and striker are the only applicable. Ooh, what a word for me, by the way. Applicable uh, contestants for the best strikers in the game. Obviously, we could do best out of position players if you do want to see that, or best anything. All you guys need to do is suggest them in the comments as Dina Tali does chip one over. The honor a coming at a goalkeeper. I think soon we actually get into the Benzema clips as well. And as you can see, by, by Benzema's like stats and stuff like that, he offers a little bit more than Di Natale when it does come to playmaking and assist. Di Natale for me, he's more of the goal scorer, you know what I'm saying? He makes the runs in behind the fences, he gets the ball, he puts it in the net. Benzema, Benzema can do that, but he's kind of more than that. And he's, he doesn't offer the kind of service that Di Natale provides in this game, where it is getting behind, be a striker, a striker, nothing but a striker. Benzema, if he does get the ball in the box, he will score, there's no doubt about that. But he's not going to spearhead Oh my god, my voice is gone. Do you hear my voice go there? He's not going to spearhead an attack. Basically, he's not going to lead the line. What he's going to do is what you've seen in the previous clip. He's going to playmake as well. So, even though he's striker in these clips, lads. Yeah, striker. You might have not noticed that from positioning just before. He's actually playing striker. The thing is, he drops into center forward slash camera more often than not. So, he's going to get way more assist than... Many other strikers on this game because of his work rates, medium to medium, and the kind of position he finds himself in or, or on the pitch uh, due to uh, the work rates. So I've played 50 games in total with Karim Benzema now, and his record is 32 goals, 37 assists, 
and that plays a major part into how he does play. Like I said, did see when he's passing that, he provides more of a striker service. He provides a kind of playmaker service as well. Uh, finishing stat is the exact same, by the way, as Di Natale, if you do want to compare and contrast. Uh, 92, but the shooting stat overall is 88. So that's less than Di Natale. It's probably because his long shots is only 81, but still an absolute fantastic striker. So for me, I like doing these lists because I like gathering your opinions on either my top 10 or your top 10 in general. I'm kind of comparing and contrasting uh, shooting strikers that everyone uses because obviously there'll be some cheap ones there'll be some expensive ones and obviously like going down the roads down the line i want to do a mixture of both so that being said let's get in to today's best strikers or top 10 strikers on fifa 22 ultimate team so here we go then lads quick disclaimer do not get angry at me don't shout at me don't hurl abuse at my windows Hopefully you don't know where I live. But uh, yeah, basically these are my opinions. My opinions only. And the top 10 is literally just based off my opinions of players I've used as well. So don't go like hyper aggressive and tell me to like jump out my window or anything like that. Relax. Leave your top 10s and I'll tell you. Nah, I wouldn't tell you to do that ever. But uh, yeah, relax, leave your top 10s. And you can actually see the outlines of some cards right now. These are actually our top 10 today. And we're going to go from... The top five and then go into the top ten and that is exactly what this kind of will do. I wonder from that image, can you guys actually guess any of the players from that image? Me personally, even though I know the exact players which uh, are number one down to number ten, I still couldn't guess from that image. But uh, yeah, we're going to unveil them in a, a short while now. This is the top five boys. Uh, obviously... It's always contested. Benzema and Dina Tolle, by the way, make our top five today. And that's why they've been in a similar place. Because the featured players would also be in the list. I will always make them in the list and always feature them in the video. So Benzema, he comes in number five. We'll go from the fifth to the first. Benzema comes in number five. I think he's a fantastic striker. I don't think his value is too, too extortionate. I think what you get for the price of a, a player on Benzema is a hell of a lot. Obviously, you look at La Liga, Liga Santander, I think it's called that these days, uh, and you look at what Benzema offers in that striker role compared to the different strikers within that league. Now, before yesterday, we really only had Benzema, Suarez, and a few others. Now, you've got Inaki Williams to throw into the mix, and he was very good when I did use him last night, but uh, I still have Benzema in there, man. He provides such a service for the attack and roll, goals, assists, and overall, contributes to your team. In at number four, we have Paolo Dybala. Dybala's unreal. Dybala's unreal. I've waxed lyrical about him many times in this channel. Second channel, we've actually got like a review, kind of a summary of him on the second channel. If you do want to see that, just gameplay, no commentary or anything like that. And uh, he does come in number four. Fantastic player. Di Natale also featured today, numero three. Uh, fantastic striker, four star, four star, everything you kind of need for a dribbling striker on this game. In at number two, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, his player of the month, for me, he felt the exact same as his normal card. So he does come in number two. And I think the, the argument this year is Ronaldo or Mbappe Personally, I think Mbappe is lights out better. He's quicker, his movement is better, and he gets into better areas, and he just provides, again, that word provides, a little bit more for your team. Now, let's unveil the final five. The final five? That sounds like an Avengers movie, doesn't it? But uh, we do have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, that can count. Don't take the piss. Uh, <laughs> we do have the rest of the top ten. It actually includes someone that you didn't possibly think would be in this, right? Right? Alex Tejera. I used Tejera the other night. He was one of the most electrifying strikers I've used in this game. Now, for a player, that's worth about 15,000 coins to come in the best strikers list so far that I've used in this game is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I think a lot of people will look at Tejera and think he's absolutely unusable. They'll look at his finishing stats. They'll look at his league links and think, I can't get him into a team. The thing is, if you can, this guy will perform. There's no doubt about that. Plus, if you can kind of... I don't know, get him for your bench. He would be a massive impact player. Number seven, we have Robbie Keane. Very similar to Di Natale, Robbie Keane. But Di Natale is just simply better. Robbie Keane provides a very good service for your team. But not the full package. And I think Tejera actually offers more. Hence, why he's a number ahead of him. Now, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Wait, why is that just coming to my head? Why was six afraid of... No, six isn't afraid of seven because it's Robbie Keane and Tejera is better than Robbie Keane. Because seven, eight, nine. So technically, Robbie Keane ate Morientes. That's a bit sus, mate. But uh, Morientes does come in number eight. I think Morientes 
is great. Fantastic. He's got the next shot he's got. Finishing through the roof, by the way. You look at his finishing stats. If you've not, not seen it, definitely go check it out. And uh, overall, great, great player. Number nine. We've got a centre forward, and it is Memphis Depay. I was actually comparing the stats last night between Anaki Williams and Memphis Depay. Depay is a lot better, in my personal opinion, when it does come down to stats. In-game performance, actually quite similar on the two of them, but Depay definitely good in this game. The only kind of thing you've got to uh, kind of worry about with Depay is always the weak foot, isn't it? But should he get better cards this year? He's already great as it is with an 86. He's got an 86 in form, of course, the one to watch. It carries on with informs and performance-based cards and uh, can only get better, you know what I'm saying? And at number 10, I was kind of torn between three players. Now, I'm going to let you in on the three players right now. Lukaku, Lewandowski, and Haaland. Now, I just kind of thought, for me, which one was the more clinical? Because you've got to remember, at the end of the day, this is strikers. Strikers need to score, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for me, it would go Haaland, Lewandowski, Lukaku. That would be the order. So uh, yeah, coming in number 10 is Erling Haaland. Haaland on this game, his left foot is nuts. I'm just gonna say it. Now if you like Dybala's left foot where you can rattle them in every single time, you will love Haaland's left foot as well. And of course, Haaland is an aerial threat too. Now judging this top 10, You've got quite a few aerial threats from like a Morientes, Haaland himself, Benzema, Ronaldo and Mbappe. But this just goes to show for me, strikers have enjoyed in that, that you don't just need aerial ability. You don't just need goals. You can have providers as well. I think Dybala can definitely be that type of provider. Benzema definitely is that type of provider. And uh, others as well. Not even like heights or anything like that. Tijera, I think he's quite small. Depay, he's not the tallest in the world. Even Robbie Keane, Di Natale and Zabala are all six foot and below, I believe so anyways. But for me, the best literally right now in the game, non-icon. I want to stress that again because everyone's saying, what about R9? We're not doing icons today, boys. Not doing icons. Uh, this is just generally the best strikers in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And this is the list for me. Mbappe, Ronaldo, Di Natale, Dybala, Benzema, Alstigera. Surprise. That is a surprise inclusion. Robbie Keane, Fernando Morientes, Memphis Depay, and Mr. Erling Haaland. Beating out Lewandowski and beating out Lukaku. Guys, thank you very much for joining me on the best series. I'm always excited. Every single year when I bring this series out. Why? Because you guys love it. I enjoy making it. And I will do a lot more this year. I think last year and the year before was a lot more complicated to produce. But the way the graphics have worked this year, I think it's very simple to do. So there will be lots more. Lads, thank you very much for joining me today on the best strikers. If there's anything else you want to see, best midfielders, best under 100k players, best... I don't know, what's the promo right now? RTTK. Anything, lads, make sure to get amongst the comments. And, of course, leave your top tens. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you later for more videos.